you ever just play a hushbringer and regret it? <laughs> I don't think you regretted it that much. I mm, no, it's okay. It's All right. PM. I hope no one was busy. No, yeah, no, I'm, no. I'm empty to the stack. Welcome back. Welcome back. If you've empty to the stack before, this is live and a pre-recorded message. And today we're playing a card game. It's called Digimon. Digimon Digital Monsters. CCG. That, I heard that was actually a good game. <clears throat> We're yeah. playing From Dungeon the... Dice Monsters. Yo! I had that! I didn't. <laughs> Damn. Dungeon Dice Monsters Lucky. Is lit. What's also lit? What? Is that a segue towards... Uh, it might be, I don't know. It doesn't have to be. The Hada. The Hada would be <laughs> We're the segue masters over here. Watch out if you're on a scooter. Um, Speaking of red. Speaking of red, I'm playing Dahada Binder of Wills today because we just had a two hour game, so I had the thought, hey, what if I play a really fast deck, right? Except this isn't really fast, this is just aggressively combos. The whole point of Dahada Binder of Wills is we're in Mardu, we're trying to put things in the graveyard, and we're trying to find some A, B, or C combo to end the game. We're not really trying to combat, we're trying to beat you in the fifth dimension. Mm. Look, watch any dungeon video down below if like you want to understand how I win. Speaking of people not understanding how people win, um, how do you win? How does that deck win, Aiden? So it can either hopefully burn you out with the combination of like gutter snipe effects and Gandalf, and uh, <coughs> it can hopefully win with that pick experiment. <coughs> I didn't took a hit of a vape. <coughs> you usually don't go me second. Be consistent. Be no, you gotta mix it up. <laughs> what? No. I fixed I I fixed the whole OBS thing like you, before. So, so anyway, we're gonna either take a lot of turns and burn you out, or we're gonna cast that big experiment. Hopefully, copy it over and over, and then we're gonna get the cast like you the whole deck. Great. You wouldn't hit me in the face, would you? I'm not up. like directly with a fist. <laughs> Maybe a lightning bolt. You board. wouldn't lightning bolt a guy with glasses, would you? I would. No, oh, well. You wouldn't download a lightning bolt, would you? No. <laughs> I would not download <laughs> Chris, what are you going to do if Iden tries to download a lightning bolt into uh, your face? Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to... So he's got uh, artifact creatures that control have menace, and he has affinity for artifact creatures. So we're just going to put him into play, we're going to make a big contract, and then we're just going to punch him in the face. So Urza, he's gonna, he's Chief gonna Artificer. Yeah. Urza Chief Artificer. He's gonna bolt me, and then I'm going to make a giant robot, and the robot's going to punch like, him in the throat. Can't deal with that. Yeah, that's that's the plan. That's it. That's it. Speaking of plans. Speaking of things we can't deal with. I'm playing Averna the Chaos Blue. <laughs> if you've watched the channel before, I've played this a lot. It's, it's a cool deck. It does Cascade stuff, it does Landfall stuff. I've changed it up a bit. It's now Maze's End. It's not the main win condition, but like, I'm already doing the lands thing, so like... Yeah. Might as well just throw gates in there. It's, yeah. I really, that's all I did is I There's just some gates. good ones now. There's incentive. Yeah. Uh, Tiller Engine's also a real powerhouse. Yeah, I like Tiller Engine. Uh, but otherwise, it's literally just... Um, I'm going to try and cast a big spell, and if it doesn't work, then I'm going to try and hit you in the face with big, dumb idiots. And if that doesn't work, then uh, I don't know. It's a pretty good I, strategy. I, did you know you can play a Maze's End deck now in only two colors? Yep. I also in only two? Story. As long as one of them's black. Yep. What the fuck? Because of the, the black gate. There's now a new black gate. I didn't know that. It it's this. called the Black Gate. Is it Speaking from this set? Yeah. Uh, Speaking of Aces, then. Three, time to end two, this card game. one. <laughs> yeah. Hey! I am the EX Abdos. The next part is where is Neon Mushroom? Not where was Neon Mushroom, but where is he? You can check him out here in, in whatever I just did. Editing. In, in the editing, really. I'm, I'm not going to try too hard. Maybe I'll try hard to make it look not try hard. MS Paint. This, th this was a tournament staple back in the day. You know, this is a tournament staple. Uh, this card I just drew. Probably. That actually, it actually is. Uh, it's an island. It's an ancient gem. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna play this pure stream tapped. Go ahead. Wee! I'm gonna play this alpine meadow tapped. Go. Uh, I should draw. Draw. Ooh, that changes everything, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Um, we're gonna play Termorphic Expanse. We're gonna go get an island, and. Uh, and um that'll be it okay wait but oh, you have to wait see oh yeah you're right yeah, we don't have to wait for anything actually I just, <laughs> I just remembered so technically this is a uh, recorded pre-recorded but also this is being streamed live and i'm mixing up what the cadence are what this is a good go gate <laughs> go ahead on tap okay draw this good magic card that is a good magic card so tournament all-star ancient den uh Dad. will be used to cast uh, tournament All Star Soul Ray, uh, which will be used to cast Tournament All Star Trinket Mage. We're dead. 
uh, which will be used to go find a artifact card with CMC one or less. Well, you already got Soul Ring. I did already get Soul Ring, and you know, there's a lot of other targets I can get. Like, Lotus Petal. Yeah, that is a thing I can do. But you know what would be really funny? Uh, I'm gonna find this Midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be a Moon Knight. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's fine. It, it, for free, make your guy cost one last, which actually means you can cast him next turn. Yeah. Actually, a better idea. Better! Uh, or a Spring Leaf thing. Drum. Spring Leaf Drum. He can't play that. I can't play that this turn. But it does give me the black swords that I need. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Untap. Draw. Yo. I can play that card. Do I want to? Yes. We're going to play a Dragon Skull Summit. And it's untapped because we have a mountain, and that's mm -hmm. this one. We're going to tap two. One of them's a black. We're going to play an Undead Butler. Undead Butler enters the battlefield. I'm going to mill three cards. One, two, three. And when he dies, I may exile it. If I do, return target creature card from my graveyard to my hand. Great. Yes. Untap. Draw. Ooh, okay. We're going to play a mountain. We're going to tap an island and cast Soul Ring. And then we're gonna tap Soul Ring and a Mountain, and we're gonna play a Firebrand Archer. You did it. Pass. Great. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it deals one damage to each opponent. I get it. Thran Portal. It comes in untapped, because I can only control one other land. It's a forest. Bad. <gasps> I'm gonna lose one life. <coughs> Portal and Oracle. When Edge of Battlefield reveal the top card of my library, if it's a land put into play. Damn. Oh, empty my hand. Oh, wait. Into the land goes into play. Yes. Sorry, I was Damn, he's good. Him. Go ahead. Uh, he's so good at magic. I wish I was that good. So I'm gonna draw this card. Hey, that's a good one. Um, where's my ramp? <clears throat> Fuck your ramp. Right? Yeah, no ramp for you today. Yeah, you don't need it. Um, <laughs> speaking of not needing, doesn't need it. Here's an exotic. One. There's your ramp. We gotta uh, get there. Get there. Here's a spring leaf drum. Commander Vex should be able to get to the commander. And I'm just gonna patch. Just gonna hang out. Oh, you're gonna funny interaction stuff? Why, why would I why would I do that? I'm gonna draw. Uh I'm gonna play this Battlefield Forge. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to attempt to cast Prosperous Partnership. You got it. Nice, okay. Under yeah. the battlefield, I'll make a two green and white citizen creature tokens, and then I could tap three creatures to make one treasure token. Yes, you can. Are you gonna do the thing? I Yo, is he officiating the wedding? <laughs> 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 I can do that at any time. Technically, kind of. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Okay. Uh, let's go with an island, and we'll just play Gandalf. Gandalf. Pass. Great. Untap, I'll keep a draw. Exotic Orchard. I have everything but green on that one. Let's go three and play Averna. Yep. Go ahead. At the end step, I'm gonna flash out a research thief. Nice. An artifact control those common damage to a player, draw one card. That's so cool. I'm gonna draw a card for turn. Uh, we're gonna play this Islam. Is it a land? It is. Uh, tap the soul ring. Uh, here's a talisman of dominance. Yep. Um, and then for my next trick, I'm gonna move to combat. Uh Hey Calvin, here's three in the air. Yeah. I'll draw a card. Um I already played my land for turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I could cast my commander. You can cast your commander <clears throat> and hold one up. Yeah, I think we're just gonna do that. We can hold two up. Oh no, just one. I'm sorry. Math is hard. Uh here's Urza. Yeah. He's just chilling. Wow. Uh, nice. <clears throat> And then we're gonna move to my end step, and I'm gonna make a contra. On your end step, I'm gonna make a treasure. Is that good? Yeah. That's pretty chill. Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna untap. You found ramp. Right? Uh, upkeep. Draw. Are we dead? Maybe. I'm figuring that out. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Wow. 
I mean, that's fine. Yeah. It happens. It could be like that sometimes. He has a blue up. He does have a blue up, so. And a white. And a white. I have a green up. Yeah, think about that. Think about that. He also has a red up. Think about that. I do. It could be anything. It could be a lightning bolt. We're just gonna fucking go for it. Whatever. Do it. Make okay. like a treasure token. Yeah. I'm gonna tap that. Uh, mm, uh, mm, mm, mm. You. Incarnation technique. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yo, I'm gonna choose this guy. Kessick Flame Breather. Yeah. It, it's the second yeah. of the thing. You're gonna see if we can just high roll into it. Uh, me? Yeah. Well, so I have this <laughs> violin tumor. Oh, uh, right. Uh, so we're, we're gonna see what we hit first. One, two, Three, four, five. There's a solid. Uh, so we're gonna Volun Tumor. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. I'm gonna pick up my library. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to put this Abdel Adrian into my graveyard. Great. Shuffle. Now I'm gonna do the next one? Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna put Thermopod into play. Yeah. Is that cool, guys? Sure yeah. is. I love that. Great. Anyways, these are gone. I'm gonna sacrifice a creature in order to add a red to my mana pool. I'm gonna cast Impulsive Pilfer. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to tap three creatures in order to make one treasure token. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I'm gonna sacrifice this to add a red to my mana pool in order to make another treasure token. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna sacrifice this. I still have one treasure token there. I'm gonna cast Animate Debt. Yeah, okay. Abdel? Abdel Adrian. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Abdel Adrian's gonna enter the battlefield. When he does, I'm gonna target one, two, three, four, five things. Oh yeah, this is a combo. It's a combo. Yeah. It's the World Gorger combo. It's the World Gorger combo. Okay. I got nothing. Explain it. Well, Yay! you can't choose lands, right? Huh? You can't choose lands with Abdel, right? Correct. So you don't you don't make infinite mana like World Gorger can, but... Well, this Prosperous Partnership? Things but that, are... yeah, with that. So here's what's gonna happen. Abdel Adrian's gonna enter the battlefield and I'm gonna go to exile all of these things. This token will disappear, but it was five things in total. As a part, to resolve the ability completely, I'm going to make five creature tokens. One, two, three, four, five. Here are five creature tokens. Hey, Abdel's dead because the anime dead. Anime dead now has a trigger on the stack that says, hey, uh, I'm gone, kill the Abdel. But before that, we're gonna make two treasure tokens. Ta-da! Now we're going to have Abdel Adrian go to the graveyard. That means these things come back. Thermopod, Undone Butler, Violent Tumor, and Animate Dead. Animate Dead grabs Abdel Adrian. I can order these however I want. But uh, either way, you make enough. Yeah, you just can't. At, at this point, I can <clears throat> now start exiling these creatures that I tapped already to Prosperous Partnership in order to functionally reset them. Yeah. In order to get even more treasures off of it. But more importantly, there's a violin tumor involved in all of this. I'm gonna pick up my library, I'm yeah, gonna put so he gets to. whatever I want into the graveyard and eventually start cycling through things. I'll event I'll probably start with this ruthless yeah. technomancer. Do the loop a couple times, get a bunch of treasures, and I'll just reanimate the ruthless technomancer with in um, order to start buying whatever I want. How do you reanimate it? Just out of curiosity. When anime dead comes back, you can just choose. Okay, I don't have to reanimate Abdel every time. Okay. Um, I can, I, for example, I can just stop tar touching the undead butler. Just loop the, 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 I can not touch the undead butler and I can not touch the violent tumor. I can just loop everything else. To say, I'm gonna do this for infinite treasures, right? Right. Uh, then, include the violent tumor. We'll put all my creatures into the graveyard. Then, we'll have the, the reanimate the ruthless technomancer next. We have infinite treasures. This. Can be activated at instant speed. Right. Okay. Animate any creature we want from our from our graveyards. Uh, Fun game, guys. <laughs> Fun game. Damn. I hope you liked the last one. I hey man. From two hours to ten minutes. <laughs> it's probably more like twenty. And all of this because I didn't go grab a soul lantern. I should have just grabbed it. <laughs>